There is a saying when you feature an artist you must have an interest in that artist on your channel and not be doing it for views and on my reaction channels people say you're so very different because I combine a bit of bio, I give you a bit of background, I talk about the artist, we get into the music, then I discuss the lyrics after but I show showcase the whole video. I do that because some artists like the one I'm going to feature Christine and the Queens today is from France one of France's biggest biggest female exports and sold so many millions of albums and I've wanted to feature before now I'm just waiting on clearance from her doing a duet with um, Indigene um, one of his songs from his band and he's an also a humongous star in France sold millions of albums as well and I'm just waiting on that to clear by YouTube and when it does I'm going to have two songs featuring this wonderful artist of worth she really is we're going to get into it because i just want to hear her voice again i'm i believe this is a combination of a bit of english and she also sings french as well in it she's so multi-talented we're going to find out more once you're captivated by her wonderful voice and then I'm going to go through the lyrics and my interpretation by the way everybody if my interpretation is wrong I always say every song is open to a different meaning from a different reactor and I give quite an insightful different meanings to many many songs and people will always come back and like my videos and say I never thought of it that way it's just how I am I just react from within to the words and the lyrics after hearing them in its entirety without any spoils stop starting I don't do that let's get going and my introduction to all of you of one of France's superbly beautiful singers deep breath take it away Adolescence contre 
Paris et par une solitude folle Maintenant quand je suis dehors, le soleil me brûle encore you glad I introduced you today is the Sunday in Ireland and it's the start of the week I, that's why I call it Sunday the start of the week you get rid of all your stresses on a Sunday and you prepare for another week and during pandemic times to go back a couple of years and find this song from Christine who because she's dropped the Anne Queens I believe now and she's known as Christine I'm sitting here going isn't it just so beautiful wasn't that just liquid gold from start to finish and the combination of French just involves you more because I find like the Italians it's just a beautiful language it really is she could be singing about the worst thing in the world she really could but because she sings it so beautifully in French you're like mi amor mi amor I really do. I absolutely love her voice. Now, as you've seen, she gets very involved because she's very theatrical. She does a lot of um, involvements with the song in the physical sense. Um, she's a theatrical uh, performer and she touches on gender, sexuality in, in a lot of her music. And, you know, she doesn't define herself as any particular group but on my research I was quite surprised that people said she's defined as pansexual now there's many meanings to pansexual so your own interpretation of that is your own but for me I'm talking about the artist herself her presence I think she's got a beauty that's just I find her extraordinarily beautiful to look at she's got a very interesting face and I I've loved all her performances and the outfits that she's worn as well. The lyrics talk about, is it true that people have been sad, I've been sad. It's true that people have been gone, I've been gone. It's true that people I've been missing out, missing out for way too long. It's just me, myself and I. And I think that's a reflection of Christine's fight with her sexuality, her identity, her wanting people to know her as an artist, but this is who I am. And yet people do get confused because they say, there's people who say, well, she's a lesbian. And there's other people who say, she's a gay woman, and that can be different as well. And there's other people who say she's bisexual. And, you know, then you've got pansexual research. My research came up with pansexual. And this is what I say. No, she's a woman that doesn't like to be defined. I think that's what she's about. And I find it more and more in how she dresses, how she performs and, and the words of her songs. So when it says in, in the lyrics, um, you know, missing out for way too long, maybe she spent too much of her time in the past just trying to drop identities around herself to just be her. The performer the artist not somebody that, that can be put in a box i think that's what it's about 
And when she said she's missed out, maybe, you know, time has gone past so many years, you know, doing this, that she's missed out on friends, missed out on situations in life. And then it says, um, you know, in the second chorus, disappear, disappearing to, you know the feeling, you know the feeling, fall apart, then I'm higher, falling behind you, you know the feeling, you know the feeling, you know the feeling. You know, there's times when I'm sure in a relationship that things have just fell apart and she's just feeling kind of either loved up or she's lost out in love. But either way, it's a high and low situation in her life. I think that's what that's about. Let's go into the third. And again, it says falling behind you. Maybe she always feels she's a step behind everybody else. Everybody is getting on with their lives. They know what they're about. Things are good for them. But musically, privately, and fundamentally, overall, she's still finding her way in life, even through her lyrics, even through her songs. It doesn't express what she's going through, really. She's still finding that way. And then we have the French bit, and then we have, um, she goes back to knowing the feeling falling apart. So yeah, it's a song I feel to finish. It's a song of reflection. It's a song of uh, still moving forward, still not wanting to be boxed in a certain way, which she very much does in Three Sex with Indochine. I keep saying that, but she does. It's a mind blowing video and it's a pop video and it's well, well done. From the original to what they did together, her and Indochine is a wonderful revamp re cover of it. Um, overall, I hope she finds a way. Overall, I don't care what box she's people are trying to put her into. This is this is my summary. Fabulous voice, wonderful lyric lyricist, an exceptional performer, as you've seen there between the English and the French. I love it when people mix the language and go back to English and mix it. It widens the song broadly for many people like me to be involved with the song. So it's beautifully done. An artist to your attention. So do check it out. Take care for now. Have a wonderful week.